Happy Feast Day to everyone all over the Catholic world. We are celebrating the Feast of St. Joseph on this year of St. Joseph. When I think of St. Joseph, I think of two things. Silence and action. It's quite peculiar or it, it catches my attention to know that St. Joseph, even if he was in the Bible, in the Gospels, he did not utter even just a word. All the four evangelists have not attributed a word uttered by this big saint. Even if he is the guardian, the foster father of Jesus, our Savior himself. Even if he is the spouse of our Blessed Mother. Zero word. I wonder why. Could it be that all the four evangelists uh, did not really uh, heard a story of Joseph saying something? Or could it really be providential and purposeful? It's like telling us that this man, this holy man, this righteous man is a man of silence and a man of action. We are nearing the Holy Week. Let us get inspired by the silence of St. Joseph. Let us spend more and more quiet moments in prayer. Let our silence speak more than our words of petition, our words of praises. Spend moments in prayer, in silent prayer. You know, Mama Mary uttered her words in the Gospels. We even pray her Magnificat. She gave praises to the Father. But St. Joseph, zero. Why is that so? I don't know. <laughs> and so let us value more and more the value of silence, which we learn from this great man. Good thing to ask ourselves, am I talking too much to God, to my friends, to my family? Am I always the one speaking and I don't spend time in silence listening to God, my spouse, my child, my friend, my neighbor, my in-laws? Thank you, St. Joseph, for teaching us how important it is to be silent. And secondly, St. Joseph is not just a person of silence. He was a person of action. I imagine the hands of St. Joseph doing the following gestures. When together with some young people, we watch this, The Chosen, Christmas episode. In that episode, St. Joseph was there, Mama Mary having given birth to Jesus, and the, and the shepherds came. You know what was the first reaction of this man? He saw the, the shepherds coming, and he gestured like this. It's like saying, oh, wait, 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 don't approach my... My, my, my wife and my baby first. Who are you? For me, that's a gesture of I'm gonna defend my wife and my baby. I will defend him from anybody who might do him harm, who might do her harm. Saint Joseph, the protector of Jesus and Mary. Maybe also be like that. Sadly, there are some people who speak against Jesus, who speak against our Blessed Mother. May we be like St. Joseph. I will defend you with my life. You're my Savior. 
You're my mother. I will offer my life to defend you from those who attack you. May they be forgiven. I'm gonna defend my family, especially those of you who are family people. Have that gesture as well. Defend your loved ones. Keep them from harm. Keep them away from those that might harm them. Away from COVID. Away from abusers. Away from trouble. And after realizing that they were shepherds and they mean well, they are there to worship the Messiah, what was the next gesture of Joseph? His hand uh, acted like this. Oh, come, welcome. Oh, come, here's my, my child. Here's my baby. Here is Jesus, our Savior. Here is Mama Mary. Here is Madonna and child. St. Joseph was like that, inviting us to come closer to Jesus and Mary. May we be like that as well. Let us lead our friends, our families. Let us lead others to get closer to Jesus and Mary. I imagine St. Joseph also carrying baby Jesus. There was this uh, artwork Mama Mary was sleeping because she was very tired having given birth to, to baby Jesus. And it was Joseph carrying baby Jesus himself. We usually see Mary carrying the baby. We usually see mothers carrying their children, their babies. But here is Joseph. I am a father. I am a husband. And I care for my baby as well and I also saw this uh, picture of Joseph having her having his hand on the shoulder of Mama Mary I think this hands of Saint Joseph they are the ones speaking a lot hands that care I care for my baby I care for my spouse May we also do the same. Let's care for God. Let's care for Mary. Let's care for others. Let's care for our family. Not just with our words, more so with our actions. And we all know St. Joseph is a carpenter. I imagine her, his hands, really working hands, never soft, but really a, a, a hand, hands of a working man. I imagine his hand carrying a hammer, doing all these projects, providing things for other people, building houses, benches, and tables to be of service to others. May we be also like that. I'll do something. I'll make something for the service of others. Even if it means me sweating it out, I will work, work, and work. I will do service. Lastly, I imagine the hand of St. Joseph resting like this, especially when he died. And how blessed he was on his moment of death, because no less than Mary and Jesus were there. That's why we also know him to be the patron for a happy death. His hand must have rested in peace, surrendering everything to God, lifting his faith, his love, his life to the Lord. Thank you, St. Joseph. And we pray to you. We pray for a happy death for ourselves, for everyone. Thank you, St. Joseph, for your silence. Thank you, St. Joseph, for your hands that, has, that have spoken so much. This is Father Ramon, or better still, this is St. Joseph serving us laksa for our jiwa.